feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world fine? Please Lord give me a sign A sign So look who we have here. We got Keith, we got an Isaac, and a Mosier over there doing Mosier things. So. Hey, put your monkey away. Yeah, put your monkey. But Keith was sitting there talking to me while uh, getting coffee, and he happened to hit a hole, <laughs> a crater, and bent his nice little bracket. So we had to bend this back, or he did, bent it back into shape. And we got that nice little cute Nick in the radiator. We're just glad it didn't bust it. Yeah. Because oh essentially, this is already really tight, as you guys have probably already seen. So when it came back, it got locked up against the downpipe and then pressed into the radiator. So real cute. Fish! But uh, Isaac's over here just spraying his motor off and getting everything all wiped down for the most part. It ain't going to be perfect, but at least it will be close and then we'll get her in, kind of go from there. We don't really know where today's gonna go, other than hopefully this thing is really near done by the end of the day. Moser, what are you doing? Chilling. Oh yeah, we did get oil, didn't we? Yeah. Why aren't you changing your oil, you lazy prick? How are you cleaning your ears? Oh, he's a lame. He's a lame. Be cussing. Bleep it out, bleep it out. Oh, yeah, bleep it out. Isaac's still here. He's still here for the moment. It doesn't look a whole lot different, but a lot got accomplished. This got tightened up. We got it wired. Relays right here below Isaac's hands. We still got to tidy up some of the uh, loom. This is kind of just rough, and then we got to still do all that. Trans fan works. Keith wired it up to a really nice switch. <laughs> that wanted to fight him a little bit. Uh, we got a timing pointer on, it got timed. The only big thing that we were hoping to solve this weekend that we didn't get solved is the uh, dipstick, which for now we're probably just gonna seal uh, temporarily and put a different pan on it. Adjusted the tune. Adjusted the tune. So instead of it being just a base mount, now it's like more legit. Right. High and low feature on the fan works. Oh yeah, high-low on the fan works. We still technically got to figure out why the blower motor's not kicking on. It's been so long since we hacked the harness that it's probably gonna take us a smidge of a minute to figure that out. But uh, otherwise, she keys on. Oh yeah, 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 power. Oh, I hear fuel. Start up a little bit. Runs good. We do gotta do some adjustment on some of the shims or the spacers. Uh, we gotta do the oil pressure. We gotta lengthen this so it doesn't drape across. We are in the shop by ourselves, as you can tell with all the echoes. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little cleaner over here. Not. Uh, it's definitely not beautiful and definitely not done. Um, there's a ground down in here that I still haven't figured out which way I'm going to maneuver it or where I'm putting it. Uh, I just covered the factory harness for the heater box with some fresh loom. Gotta still button up all this loom down in here. I'm currently working on the transmission lines. I need two fittings for that deal. So we got the trans cooler with the trans lines going forward. Obviously still got to clean up some of the wiring and tuck it over here. This is all just roughly ran. But the fittings up at the transmission, uh, which I can't even show you because the exhaust, an absolute pain. Um, I need like a 45 and a 96 AN fitting to get onto that, but they are cut to length. All I do is put those two on. Shop, Isaac over here, he's getting excited. This, hypothetically, he has driven it once before. A block. Once. Once. Blocks. A block. So this should be the first actual true maiden voyage. We got one brake light, we gotta fix that. 
So inconspicuous. It's just a ranger. On the original 14. Yeah. Uh, got a little bit of smoke. Nothing too crazy. So far, he's pretty happy, but we've literally only went about a block. But we made it to the gas station. We got a car wash a little bit further, but we're going to put it and see what happens. Well, Mr. Isaac is driving his truck at 50 miles an hour. It hasn't caught on fire yet. It's actually really smooth. Really quiet for the most part. It says it's a 3000, which I'm not sure I buy. We still got to get the speedo and everything to work. Here at the car wash. All right, guys, so we got Isaac back in the shop. It's actually two weeks later. Now you guys are seeing this. Uh, he's been driving it for about two weekends. He said he made two Fridays, no fires. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely wish we could have followed him around two weekends ago when everybody was racing. Uh, he was taking it pretty easy on it, but for the most part, the truck's holding up really well. He's been driving for two weeks and this is how it looks. Nothing's completely falling off or melted down to the ground uh pretty much finished product the only thing that we still need to do or slashy needs to do is we need to get some fresh paint again because it's been sitting for a while and clean up these corners and make it look a little prettier polish it up uh he's still got to get some tires man he's got the wheels uh for the, the so that way in case people haven't seen which i'm sure they have but these wheels he's got these are the front runners and he's got some rears uh down here 10 inch wide rears so it'll help the aesthetic of the truck a lot. Uh, really, that's the one thing it needs to make it feel racy. Um, once that happens, I think people will start looking at it a lot differently. So far, no complaints other than a little bit of the electrical gremlins that we thought we'd be chasing, like the heater box. He said something about possible gas high beams, gauge. gas gauge, high, high beams. beams which is kind of, the high beams is a little weird, but we'll figure it out. It could be a fuse or something, who knows. What are you thinking as far as the truck, how it performed? I don't know. It drove. It drove really good. It did. It did everything that I think that we expected it to do. Uh, one of the shocking takes, I guess, would be how quick it ran through gears. Yeah. Uh, so four it, tens and uh, three speed on the C4. Uh, so. Three speed on 14 inch tall <laughs> wheels, and <laughs> I don't exactly know how tall a tire, but that's a pretty short tire. So it, it just. It just gets up there quick. It makes a great stoplight truck for sure. Oh right yeah. Now, so it's been an awesome little rig. Uh, it's been cool to watch it progress from the little four cylinder. It's obviously taken far too long to get it to this point. Um, but I am excited that it's finally done and he gets to enjoy it. Seeing, oh, driving, see, it's awesome. Yeah, seeing his cheese look uh you know two weekends ago while he was driving when there's gtrs and corvettes and all that stuff <laughs> around it was uh it made it a lot more worth it to me and uh, i'm glad he's finally getting to drive it with some nice days so for the most part unless there's anything you can think about like the next steps really it's wheels and tires is probably the next i think those tires and locking up the rear end and then just work out the little dremlins yeah well he's it's getting cold and it got cold quick i mean 
we got some nice days tomorrow, like 75, but it's been like in the real low 40s. I seen like 39 last night. So that's getting definitely heater weather. So for now, Isaac's truck, the stranger, running on the streets. Better watch out. And then uh, it's not a Mustang, so there shouldn't have to be any crowds or nothing. But keep it crazy, and we'll see you guys next time.